This entrance at the top of the street is the wrong one, so don't use that. Go to the bottom of the street and enter from there. Behind the roller door is the rubbish and recyclables, and there are the stairs to the main entrance. When you get to the top of the driveway, turn immediately right. Do not continue straight. Here is the entrance to the garage. The door on your right can be accessed with the key to the main entrance. The roller door, you need the remote control going in, but going out, uh, it opens automatically. This door leads up to my apartment, and that is my car parking space there with my bike behind it. This gate here leads to the gym, sauna, indoor pool, outdoor pool, spa, and squash court. The TV is on a lift. It stays low so it doesn't, you don't lose the view. But uh, the lift is in here with all the other remote controls. So, lift is very easy. You just press, press that up to take it up and then press it down to take it down. This is for the TV. So you just press on that and then you can go to Netflix. I got Netflix, iView and uh, Video On Demand. Uh, sorry, SBS On Demand. Um, with the sound, to get the sound on, just hit this button here and that will connect the TV to the sound. Um, but you can also use the sound system uh, with the music on your phone uh, because it's got Bluetooth, so you can link to it that way. It's just called Sound Touch 300. This is the remote for the blinds. They're called bottom up blinds. So, what you do is you press them down, make sure that's on zero. And what they'll do is they'll slowly go all the way down to the bottom, and then as soon as they hit the bottom, they'll start to rise up, which means that you get privacy from those apartments down there, but you still get the view. So there, we've now got privacy. You can have it going up as much as you want. Um, and then when you've finished, you actually press the up button. And when you press the up button, it'll actually start going down first till it gathers everything at the bottom and then it'll, it'll go back up again. Moving to the kitchen, we've got an induction cooker, so you just press this button here, that turns it on, and then whichever part you want to use, for example this one, you just press that, and then you press whatever number you want. Um, that one you can set to 8 and so forth. Um, switch off. So that's that. Um, if you're using the neutral bullet, just make sure you always don't put anything above the max mark and put this part on really tightly before you flip it in and put it in there. And then all you have to do is turn it and twist it and it'll blend everything for you. But if you haven't turned it around tightly, it'll spurt out and get caught up in the motor. There's the pantry there and the microwave. Uh, if you're using the microwave oven, just make sure you leave the door open while the microwave's running so it doesn't get too hot. Uh, you're welcome to help yourself to anything in there except the wine. Same with the fridge. Uh, help yourself to anything in there except the wines um, and anything in the freezer too. Uh, there's a water dispenser there. There's also an um, ice cube dispenser in the freezer. Here we have the intercom. So if somebody rings, you just pick it up and you can see their image on there. This is the um, air conditioner. Uh, so this is just a, an on switch and an off switch. So when you set it on there, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can have it going faster or slower. You can adjust the... Um, temperature up and down and then just set 
and then go back. This cupboard here houses pots and pans. Um, there's also the iron up there. There's a gym mat if you want to do some yoga or something. Um, various parts to the Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner. That's the main part for the vacuum cleaner. There's also um, various other things, dusters and mop and so forth. And of course, recyclables basket. The bin has a lid, an inner ring and an outer ring. To open the bin, just wave your hand in front and it'll automatically open and then it'll shut again on its own. To empty the bin, just lift off the lid, take out the inner ring and then lift out the outer ring like so and then pull the, the bag out and then to put a new bag in you just put the bag in first pull it through and then wrap it round lift the outer part tuck the edge of the bin liner into the inside push it down and then just do that so none of it sticks out. Put the inner ring in to, to hold it in place and then put the lid back on. To empty the vacuum cleaner just open the, that opens automatically, just lift the vacuum cleaner over the top and pull this up and the bottom will open. Uh, to close it you have to push this down first before you close it at the bottom there. Simple as that. Here we have the master bedroom. Now the first thing is this remote control which operates the blinds over there. For these lights here um, there's a switch down there and then for those lanterns there there's that switch there. So you've got both switches down there. For this light here, there's actually uh, this button here. Just make sure that you fill the water up above the level of the jets. And then once they're above the level, then you can adjust the amount of bubbles and the amount of power. Also in the bathroom, we have the laundry here. There's uh, spare toilet paper up on the thing there. Um, the washing machine, very easy to use. Don't use this tray because you have capsules which go straight into the washing machine itself. Then just press the on button, switch it to quick 30, and then press play. And uh, off it goes. Once that's finished, you can put it in the tumble dryer just set the tumble dryer to i normally set it to depending on how much you've got in there if it's a full load i set it to about 100 um, and then to start you just need to press this um, it's quite hard so yeah give it a good hard press to actually get it started we also have the ironing board and a clothes dryer there as well out on the balcony we've got the barbecue, pretty straightforward. Just um, turn the tap here clockwise to let the gas out, but remember to turn it off when you finish barbecuing. Um, there's also a couple of trays that you can attach to the barbecue on either side, but put them back when you've finished because if it's a windy day they can sometimes get blown off. And then to start it, it just ignites itself and then you adjust the amount of heat. And this is the rear balcony. So that's Westfield's shopping centre over there. And there's the tennis court.